Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today, we're going to look at some of the tools of the trade. So this is going to be probably the last empty wallet Wednesday for a little while. Uh, moving forward, I think I'm going to do some uh, kind of like a build series. I've got uh, some decal work that I've been working on that uh, is coming along nicely. So we're going to start doing that on some of our some of our cars, and then a little bit of weathering. And I think for the next few weeks, we uh, we'll kind of we'll kind of deep dive into how we're going to do that, and then. As we approach 500 subs, I kind of got a special project for that. So when we get a little closer to that, I'll kind of make some announcements and go over what I'm doing there. But today, as the last empty wall Wednesday for a while, I kind of wanted to go over... My channel is generally dedicated to saving everyone money. And I want to have some changes a little bit in the future here. But as of right now... Sometimes the, the, I, I'm finding the need to to spend a little bit more money on some certain things, and some of those things happen to be the the tools that I use, um, keeping up a relatively large inventory or roster of engines and rolling stock. I'm in the process of maybe making a move to a bigger layout in the near future, so we can do some more extensive testing, but. As of right now, I have to run trains pretty hot and heavy to uh, keep them running and uh, or to keep the reviews uh, running. And there tends to be quite a bit of maintenance. And in the last several months, I have come to the conclusion that there are some things that you should spend a little bit of money on. But some of the uh, best things I've come across, and I really wanted to share couple of these and I figured that would be today's video and the first one I'd like to go over while we got trains running here in the background is the iFixit kit and I also work in a uh, technology repair type business um, in agriculture and good solid screwdriver kits are something that are hard to come by and although this is a slightly more expensive kit the Bits that are provided in it are absolutely premium. They fit screws and connectors properly, and they don't strip out. They're just really high quality, good tools. And something that uh, can be overlooked and isn't always uh, noticeable with, with a good screwdriver is ball bearing top, which is nice. But a good heft to the screwdriver really helps it be controllable and stay locked into a, a screw or you know a connecting device you don't necessarily need the full kit like I've got here they kind of make this half kit and it's in the $35 range this whole kit was about 65 I highly recommend this this is totally worth the money and if you have a large roster or just a layout that needs work or any electronic thing that needs work this is an excellent kit you should definitely pick one up I've also got a good tip. I was uh, given this by a person who watches the channel. They, uh, they tipped me off on these little micro brushes for doing makeup, and I've had relatively decent luck using these to do some painting, like the SD70 that's passing me by. I painted uh, handrails and the steps with, with just a couple of these. Super cheap, disposable. They've been working really good. Although there are some situations where I still like to use the, uh, you know, the the cotton swab to to make some make some changes. But awesome tip, appreciate that. Also, for the couple bucks it costs, go out and just get a roll of three eighths wide capped on tape. This has come in super handy over the last well a couple years that I've had. To be honest with you, it's got multiple uses on the layout and off. Really good deal. Pick some of that up. Something that I have personally found super handy in the last couple months is the Microtrains gauge. I have figured out a lot of my problems using this. It is 
really intuitive and they packed a lot of features into this little thing. Coupler height, hose height gauge. Uh, this is for testing rail width, so is this. And this is for flange on your wheels. Great little tool. I think I bought this for $10 off of eBay. It has been worth its weight in gold and it has really helped me figure out a lot of problems with say rolling stock like this one that's rolling up here right now there we go a little bit of a more premium piece of rolling stock that had a lot of issues running this helped me narrow down why it was being a problem child good deal for that you should really consider picking it up also i have kind of determined that i needed Kind of a toolbox for uh, all of my components and, and whatnot and I came across these seven dollar DeWalt toolboxes and they have been really quite great for seven dollars a piece they open up and interlock with one another so you can latch them up and set them underneath your layout and they stay together that's been really cool but in each of these toolboxes, I got a bit of a parts kit going on and a couple of things I wanted to go over quickly. <clears throat> Gel super glue is awesome. Got to have that. I also like the smallest tubes I can of the liquid stuff. I don't use this as often as that, so I try to go with the small tubes, you know, one one or two uses. I've brought these up before. The set of three of these were six or seven dollars online. These are really good. I need to get a different set. Sometimes it's just nice to be able to uh, not use their clamping feature. I need a different set of these. So in the future, I'll be picking that up. Everybody's got to have an X-Acto knife. Also keep lots of, you know, fresh blades on hand that's a big deal if you haven't gotten into this stuff this is excellent gear lube it comes in a kit so back here this comes in a kit with I believe this I want to say it was $15 on Amazon excellent for gear trains Really nice for uh, wheel sets should you need a little bit of oil. I don't use this very often, mainly on the linkages of my steam engines. But gear lube in very small amounts, just a little dab on the exposed gears on truck sets, and that works awesome. Another uh, fluid that I think... Oops, knocked over my train here. I've tried no ox ID, and honestly, on the rails... It can have somewhat decent, uh, you know, decently good results, but for the interface between wheel sets and pickups, this Atlas Conducta Lube has been spot on for me, and it has worked great since I started using it. So, if you haven't picked this up, it's I want to say twelve dollars on Amazon when I grabbed it. I've been using the same bottle for quite a while now. Good deal absolutely essential for some of my uh, more finicky uh, engines now this one i have to admit is a bit of a flex not that i care that much but since i started doing a bunch of rolling stock um, i've been repairing and working on it this is my micro chains box at 1015s and some extended versions i've also got some cheapos that i just saved but lots of extra wheels in black and pre-oxidized as well as a couple of kits that aren't put together yet. I'm working on a method for, I don't know, building a jig maybe on a 3D printer to make those a little easier to go together. I'm a little bit shaky, always have been, and uh, difficult for those to put together. But if I get that figured out, I will be sure to share it with you. And then I got one more that I just kind of keep all of my spare motors and, you know, extra decoders, DC boards. These have been super awesome. And honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better toolbox for about $7. Anyway, that's kind of just the tools that I find that I've, 
I really, really enjoyed using, um, you know, kind of the essentials as well. Thought I'd share that uh, before we started our, our next little project. I finally, finally got my decals to start coming out and looking relatively nice. So we're going to get some of these put on and start weathering some cars. And I think it's going to be kind of a nice series. So for next couple months, we're going to be uh, hitting that hard. And then hopefully we'll be approaching 500 subs by the time that's over. And we will we'll start my, my special little project. So thanks for stopping in, everybody. I'll see you this Friday for the Rolling Stock Review. Have a good week.